<laughs> now, uh, in Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. I know your technical uh, person here is very good with that. Just uh, let's read about this verse. Then he said to Moses, Come up. Sabay sabay na natin sabay, Come up. Come up. Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, for you are the wor uh, for you are to worship at the distance. I like the word <coughs> "come up." Sa Tagalog, mas ma. In our word today, level up. Level up. When the Lord says "come up," level up. Amen. Go to the next level. Amen. Amen. And God will not talk to you if you will never level up your faith. And God wants to, to talk to Moses. He says, come up. Sabi Lord, kinakausap ko naman si Lord eh. I'm talking to my God. But the question is, kinakausap ka ba ni Lord? Sometimes God will not talk to you unless you level up. You have to what? To grow as Christian. You have to go to your next level because a lot of people don't want to be an average person because if you are a son of God, you are an excellent person. You are a person of the best of the best because if you have Jesus Christ, you're the best. In order for you, don't remind that, that if you have a religion, religion doesn't matter. But the only thing is relationship. This church does not introduce religion with induced relationship. You have that relationship with the Lord. We are inviting you here not to change your religion. But the relationship is very important. That's how you have to what? To level up. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, level up bro, level up. Level up. We need to go up. And then he said, and the Lord said, come up. Come up to the Lord. Level up to the Lord. If God wants to talk to you, you are what? A person who goes to the next level. I do believe that when God wants to talk to you, you have to come up. You know, there are the things that marami tayong ginagawa, dapat isa lang resulta. One thing that we need to know, if we are doing these things, there will be one result. And that result is to level up. Right? Ang dami ng mga tao nagle-level up. Sa simbahan hindi nagle-level up. Because the church are not updating. They are all outdated. They are still doing 20 years ago what they have done 20 years ago and they are still doing it. That's why I'm talking to your senior, senior pastor here. You have to update. Malitan nyo na mga 20 years ago ang ginagamit inyo. And then you have to update. You have to go to level, uh, you have to the next level of your life. Three things to remember if you want to go to the next level. Number one, you have to abide in Christ. You cannot go to the next level unless you have what? You have to abide in Christ. I want to share with you on, uh, on that verse, uh, John chapter 15 verse 4. Because God wants to talk to Moses and then he Moses, and God said, Moses, come over here. And then Jesus said, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. You cannot go to your next level of your life. You cannot go to the next level of financial blessing unless you remain in Jesus Christ. God does not want to remain in your religion. Does not want to remain in your what? In your church. He wants a real relationship with the Lord. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Bago ka humingi ng fruits, dapat yung roots muna. Don't ask the fruit. You need the, the root. Ano ba sa Tagalog yung root? Yung ugat. Bunga agad, wala ka bang ugat. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, ugatin ka naman ni Lord. Come on. You're always asking the fruit. But how about your roots? Are you deep in the word of God? You 
cannot be. You cannot have fruit unless your roots are deep. The foundation, the foundation of buhay mo is your faith in God. Whatever, whatever, whatever uh, problems, challenges you have in life, if you are deep in the Word of God, if you're deep in your relationship with the Lord, your foundation is very strong. Eh, yung iba, nasa agilang, lipat na ng simbahan. Ano ka, kangaroo? Grow up, level up. Amen. Amen. Hindi ka lang nakamaya ni pastor. Lipat ka na dun. Yo, dami simbahan dyan. Lord of the Rings, doon ko lumipat. <laughs> yung iba na, lipat ka na lipat, tapos babalik ka. Ano ka? Level up, bro. Level up ka. Maski sa opisina, mag-level up ka. And even my myself, I have to what? To level up. Kaya kapag nakikipag-usap ako sa apo ko, eh mga millennial, millennial kids yan, iba na yan. Yung mga millennial kids, ibang kausap yan. Magaling yan pa, magaling pa sa'yo yan. Lama? Hindi na naniniwala yung bata, mas magaling pa sa'yo. Eh pag meron silang gustong alam, i-google. Magagaling ang mga tao eh. yung mga matatanda, hindi marunong mag-google. Hindi <laughs> sabihin niya, punta ka sa dictionary, punta ka sa dictionary. Eh yung mga bata, ah, I know it, I know it, Dan. Tapos di ka nagle-level up. In the Philippines, a lot of youth, masyadong mataas. You know, if you're, if you're a bachelor, they cannot consider you as a graduate. You need some master, master and doctorate. Yan, binibig sila sa'yo. Pero kung bachelor ka lang, hindi ka graduate sa kanila. Yan ang mga millennial people. You need to deal with them. Amen. Pag kinausap mo mga bata, mas magaling sa yan. Alam mo, matatalo mo lang mga bata. If you want to what? Matalo mo yung magagaling na bata. Na itong, magaling kayo. Maging authentic ka. Maging totoo ka sa anak mo. Pag sinabi mo, hindi mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pakatotoo ka. We don't, in the church, we don't need people who are very good in music, who are very good in medicine. We need obedient people. We need what? Authentic. Yung totoong tao. Authentic means you are original. And if the, your kids will see you that you are authentic father, authentic mother, then they will believe in you. Amen. Di mo kayang talunin ng mga anak mo ngayon, magagaling yan. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> Patalunin mo na sila, maging authentic ka. Tignan mo yung katabi mo kung totoong tao yan. <laughs> There's so many people are not are not real anymore. They're all plastic. That's sad. Amen? Hindi mo alam yung katabi mo, plastic mo. But if you are in God, if you are in Christ, if you are in Jesus, you are a true person. You want to be a true person? Come on, 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 Sabi mo sa katabi mo, please, magpakatotoo ka naman. Amen. Bakit natin ay isa sa tabi yung church? Bali wala ba sa inyo yung church? Ito yung church, pamilya niyo po. This is not a church. This is a family. Are you with me? Amen. The church in the Spinias that I'm serving is a family. We offer family. We embrace people. We love people. We pray for people. We minister for people. Because we are people-oriented and we are not program-oriented. 
Are you with me? Amen. So you, in order for you to, to level up, you yes. have to remain in Christ. And Christ will remain in you. Number two, Christ is above you. Above is Christ. Number one, remain, you are abide in Christ. Number two, Christ above you. Wow. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 38. 